Are there alternatives to Amazon when it comes to distributing your ebook online? There are alternatives, and I'm going to tell you about one of my favorites coming up. Hey guys and gals, boys and girls, authors and author wannabes. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Your old buddy Tim back here on YouTube doing one of the things that I do best, and that is hopefully bringing you a little insight, information, and advice into how you can become a better writer. Basically, on this show, I take questions submitted by you, the audience, either through the comments below or the Facebook group, and I do my best to answer those. So if you do have a question on anything to do with writing, the process of writing, editing, marketing, cover design, publication, uh, feel free, drop it in the comments below. If I do use your question in a future video, you will get a free digital copy of one of my books. So it's almost as good as winning the lottery. That's what I like to say anyway. So uh, the question today comes from Becky. And Becky, I uh, appreciate the question. This came in through the uh, the Facebook group. Tim, are there alternatives to publishing my ebook online rather than Amazon? Uh, I do not like Amazon, et cetera, et cetera. I'll just stop right there. Uh, Becky, good news for you. There are a number of services that will help you distribute your ebooks online. One of my favorites is a website called Draft to Digital. Now that's Draft, the number two, digital.com. Uh, basically, what draft digital is, it is an aggregate service where you can upload your book file, your cover, and draft digital will uh, distribute your books to, uh, I think, eight or nine different websites and services like iBooks, which is iTunes uh, book service. Uh, there's also Kobu, Barnes & Noble, um, a bunch of others. I don't remember all of them, but it's really convenient because basically what you do is you upload your book, you upload your cover, you set it to which uh, marketplaces you would like to be distributed to. Thank you very much right there. Uh, and uh, you set your price and that's all you have to do. Let me turn down the volume on this computer. I have someone pinging me. This is the beauty of semi-live video. I have two damn many speakers in the office and they all start going off and my teenage daughter starts pinging me and it's just a mess. So anyway, back to the topic, Becky. Yes, draft to digital is the service that I recommend. A couple of real advantages to draft to digital Now, they are not going to distribute your book to Amazon. That's something that you've got to do completely separate. But if you, uh, if you don't want to have to go to iTunes and Barnes & Noble and all these different sites and submit your book one at a time, you can use draft to digital and they will aggregate that for you. Uh, another nice thing about draft to digital is they, they do not have any stringent guidelines. Basically, you format your book before you upload it, and whatever formatting is typically held in place, which is another advantage over Amazon because Amazon is famous for chewing up digital files. Yum, yum, yum. They've chewed up mine more than once. Uh, you can upload uh, a Word doc, a docx file. You can also do uh, files from OpenOffice, RTF files. You can even upload pre-formatted EPUB files. Uh, and uh, it just makes it super duper easy for you. So check that out, Becky. I don't know why my voice cracked there like a 12-year-old going through puberty. Probably because draft to digital just gets me <laughs> excited. <laughs> Draft the number two digital.com, Becky. Go check that out. Uh, a few other things uh, is the royalty structure on Draft to Digital. They don't charge you anything to set up the book. And usually the royalty fees are going to be, you're going to get uh, a net 85 to 90%, depending on uh, the way you set things up. And you get paid relatively quickly. Of course, Draft to Digital does not control the payment systems from iTunes and that sort of thing. But you do get whatever money comes into your Draft to Digital account, you do get that on a monthly basis, whereas Amazon can typically make you wait up to 60 days or more to get paid. So those are, I'm looking at my notes here because you know, Becky, the old brain don't work like she used to. Um, 
But yeah, so that looks like it. That's a, a really great service. It's kind of all in one. Now, one of the drawbacks to draft to digital is because is they don't do uh, paperback print on demand anymore. I think at one time they had a relationship with CreateSpace and then Amazon swallowed up CreateSpace and did away with that, but that's okay. You can do your paperback version on CreateSpace and still distribute your digital version on draft to digital. Now, one thing, if you are doing Amazon and draft to digital, which I do with all of my books, keep in mind that if you set your KDP selection, if you enroll that book in KDP Select, which is Amazon's uh, promotion program that we talk about in another video, while your book is enrolled during that 90 day period on Amazon, you cannot have your book for sale anywhere else on the web in digital format. And that simply means this. If you enroll your book into KDP selected Amazon, you cannot have it on draft to digital. Now you can, you can upload it and see what happens, but uh, Amazon is pretty sharp about this. They will send you a nice little email if they find out the book is for sale anywhere, telling you that you have a few days to take that book down or you will be pulled out of the KDP uh, select program. So do keep that in mind. KDP Select, they they really uh, do that. They give you some, you know, some perks for doing it, but they hold you uh, and your book hostage basically for 90 days. But it's a trade-off. You get certain promotional uh, deals that you can run on your book and that sort of thing. Again, that's another video. So Becky, I hope that was hopeful. Go over to draft2digital.com. Check it out for yourself. They've got videos there you can watch. But again, it's pretty simple. You set up your account, you upload your pre-formatted ebook file, you upload your cover, you set the marketplaces that you want to distribute to, you set your price, and then the fun begins, Becky, because then you have to go market the book and point everyone in that direction. So if you want to see Draft to Digital at work, you can go over to my website, uh, timnoxbooks.com, because a lot of my books are both for sale on uh, Draft to Digital, Amazon, and create space. So, all right, Becky, I hope that was helpful. Hey, if you find these video helpful, uh, videos helpful, do me a favor. Click the subscribe link below. Also click the little bell icon. Give us a like. And every time I release a video, you will be notified. Also, don't forget, if you've got a question or comment, leave it below. And if I use your question in a future show, you will get a free digital ebook suitable for framing and or reading, uh, just like Becky. So, all right, Becky, I hope that was helpful. You guys get out there. Go write something that you can put on draft to digital. Get it selling not only on Amazon, but iTunes. Uh, did I say Amazon? I meant Amazon, iTunes, Kobu, Barnes & Noble, and all of those. I think I may need some more coffee. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right, go on, go on. Get out there. Go write something. Go write something great. Great.